Okay, this example is just like our last example, except if st instead of seeing our top customers, we want to see our top selling products. So we go to the control panel, and we'll create a view of the products table. <clears throat> and we'll give this view a name, top sales. Here we select our fields. We'll select the product name field. The unit price is, is the price for each product, and the total sales we received for this product. Make sure we want to set our formatting correctly. Set it to dollar signs. We can go back to the portal to see what we've made so far. A top sales view showing the name, the unit price, and the total product sales. So now it's time to create our query. Go back to the control panel the Query Manager tab, and the Create link. Now we want to choose our selection, Top Sales, and we want to give our query a name. We'll call it Top Top 10 Products. Okay. Like the example before, we want to use a sorting area. Choose Product Sales in descending order. We want to set our limit to 10, and just like in the previ previous example, we'll choose this condition, product sales greater than 0. So if you put this all together, we're going to show our top 10 selling products. Go back to the portal, top sales, and the top products, top 10 products tab shows our best selling products in descending order. Just to finish things off, we'll get rid of this all records tab. Go to the filter, choose our selection, and disable this option. There you have it, our top 10 selling products.